Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, I'm going to show you two very easy ways to connect your servo arms to your control surfaces. One is standard for any type of model, <clears throat> another one that's for micro RC models. Let's get to it. One of the tasks we have to do in building a model airplane is eventually connect the servo arm to the control um, to the control a horn or the control surface. So this is an example of a wing that I'm building. You can see the aileron here with the control horn and then the servo. And let me get this over here. We have to connect the servo arm to the control arm here. So a fairly normal way to do that <clears throat> is to use these easy connectors. And what happens, you can see the brass connector with the screw that goes on top, then the black uh, retaining bolt on the bottom. This is what it looks like mounted onto the servo arm. <clears throat> There's an Allen head bolt in here, and you just put the control wire through this hole and you connect it to the um, control horn. This is suitable for the majority of models, bigger models, and we'll just demonstrate how that works right now. You take a piece of music wire, and I did a little Z-bend right here. So what we'll do is we'll put the Z-bend in like this. We'll put on the control arms right here, and of course there's a screw that would hold it on. This control rod goes right through the middle, and the, and the advantage of this system is we can adjust it very precisely to make sure, in this case the aileron is at the zero position, and then this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you a second way to do that that is optimized for smaller models. You can see the size of this. <clears throat> Very often we might want to build smaller airplanes like this Guilo's Aronka conversion. And I'll put the card up here for this conversion. What happens to this model, we have the very small parts of electronics. As you can see, the linear servos here are very small and compact. You have to use a Z-Bend for here. But you want a Z-Bend back here. These microcontrol horns are so small, you really don't have the space or weight for this larger one. So what do you do with something like that? And this is it, and I'll show you how that works. For the shrink tubing, let me get this out of the way. For the shrink tubing uh, application, we have the same music wire with a little Z-bend in there. And that goes in just like this. We have another bit of music wire with a Z-bend. We put in just like this, and what we use is some heat shrink tubing. I slip the heat shrink tubing over this. Put it together like this. Put on your control horn, and what we can do is we're going to adjust the aileron or the control surface right to where we want it, then holding it in place we're going to heat shrink that tubing. Now the tubing is over some covering. I don't want to damage the covering, so I'll put a balsa under there. So we hold this precisely in place. The heat shrink tubing falls very nicely into place, and then it works just fine. What I do, even though this heat shrink tubing holds everything in place, I put a little dab of epoxy at either end just to make sure that it's fixed. If for whatever reason you need to readjust it or replace it, just take an X-Acto knife, cut down through here, you can remove the heat shrink tubing and put on new tubing. So again, that's two ways to hitch up your servo arms on the servo to the control arm on a control surface, the regular one with the retainers and the heat shrink tubing for smaller models or even large models. It's just a um, very handy option to have for hitching up your control surfaces. Good luck.